In our missing series today here on News Nation Live, we're focusing on two roommates who disappeared without a trace from Lanton, Missouri. This is near the Arkansas border a couple of years ago. It was December 17th, 2020. Their names are Ira Briscoe and Lamont Little. They haven't been seen since. Here's a closer look at their case and disappearance. Five-year-old Ira Lee Briscoe loved the guitar, playing since he was a kid and now teaching his own son. As a child, Ira battled leukemia. His family saying it left him always living full throttle. He loved life and he loved fishing and hunting. I mean, there was always a stringer full of fish. The last time his mom saw him was December 17th, 2020. Ira and his roommate, 49-year-old Lyman Little, vanished without a trace. Police posting the disappearance online. Ira's mother repeatedly taking to social media. And let's just keep this going because this mom's not giving up. Somebody did something to my son. Somebody did something to Lyman Little. Come on, come on. Somebody knows what happened. The family admits over the years, Ira had gotten involved in drugs, possibly seeing the cartels as a lucrative opportunity. You don't have to worry about me no more. Mom, I got it. I'm in with the cartels and he had X's and stuff on his wrist. And I'm like, oh, Lord. Along with vigils and releasing balloons in his honor, Marilyn Briscoe says she's gone through dumpsters and climbed into caverns, followed every tip about where her son could be. I'm exhausted. I'm totally exhausted. You know what all this is from? You know what all this is from? It's from me climbing in a cave the other day for three hours, me knowing her best hope may be finding his remains. And I was praying, God, please just let me find it and let it be over. Let it be over. But 27 months of searching and no answers. An update from police says they have issued multiple search warrants and several potential burial sites have been excavated, but still no human remains have been found. The sheriff calls it an open investigation. The family frustrated. I am hoping that, that maybe they know things that they just can't share. For Marilyn Briscoe, no matter what her son was involved in, only one thing really matters. All we best for is someone to please tell us where our son is. That's all. If it's a body or if whatever, we'll take it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.